Champion Mistletoe built. Yes, that was your plug for the big carnival last year. Oh, I don't ever want to see those two again. Yes. Because of those two foxes, the carnival got off to a pretty bad start. <laughs> Nothing. Oh, and Cynthia, the big carnival is tomorrow, and I don't have anything to wear. And you should see how my friends are dressing up. Carnival, my dear, is not a fashion show. It's a place to have fun. <gasps> Look what I found. Your father's old overalls. Oh, they'll be perfect yeah! for a gardener's costume. Thank you, Aunt Zinnia. <laughs> have you found anything, Pirouette? With all the things we've got here, I'm sure you can invent oh, a hundred different disguises. Oh, yeah? And how, pray tell? With a pinch of imagination and a sprinkling of willpower, young lady. I'm sure that our car is going to be a big hit at tomorrow's parade. Hey, do you know what we should call it? The Super Carrot Mobile. The Super Carrot Mobile. <laughs> For a gardener's car, that's a pretty good name. Say, Daddy, you better not be late for the parade. I wouldn't miss it for anything in the world. As soon as Zinnia and I have finished sowing the spring seeds, we'll meet you there. Ta-da! And do you have room in your car for a garden fairy? Bound for two gardeners. Wow, you look great, guys. How do you do that? With a good dose of magic, sir. Tomorrow, all five of us are gonna be a walloping success. You know, tomorrow, I'd prefer it if Dandelion stayed with us. He's too little to go with you. I'm not too little. You'll see. As soon as Aunt Zinnia and I finish sowing seeds, we'll join the others. And we'll have the time of our lives. Guy Roderick, and who lost a sack full of snacks, huh? And who was it who ate the cheese for the trap? Do you think I enjoy teaming up with a fool like you? So, it's a fight you won. Well, you're going to get one. <laughs> hey, Marmaduke, check that out, will you? Uh... The Vinaset Annual Carnival. It's tomorrow, and it's even got the address on it. There are gonna be more meals to catch for a square yard than in a chicken coop. <laughs> a nice, fat little bunny for dinner. That'll get us in shape, Roderick. <laughs> said all five of us were going to go, and all five of us will go. Listen to me. If we take Dandelion with us, that means we'll have to keep a super close eye on him at all times. Do you all feel up to it? Yep, I do. Uh, me too. I'm in. Uh, me too. The hardest part is yet to come. <laughs> Daddy? Hmm? What? How are you scared, 
inside me. What are you doing here? Daddy, please say yes. Say yes. Yes to what, Pirouette? Daddy, can we take Dandelion with us tomorrow? Because it'll be too sad if he has to stay here alone. First of all, Dandelion won't be alone tomorrow. He'll be with me. And besides, it's not easy to look after a little child like him, you know? But I'm not convinced that your brothers want to have such a big responsibility. Yes, we do! <laughs> We're big boys, you know? And, and we know how to handle big re responsibilities. Oh, Daddy. Oh, say, say it would yes, be so Daddy. wonderful if he could come with us. Really? Follow strangers, is that understood? And keep a close eye on Dandelion. He hasn't had his nap, so if he gets tired... You let him have some rest before the parade, all right? Daddy, we're not babies anymore. You can trust us. Ready for the big run? Thanks. 
smell rabbits stew everywhere. Pirouette, we're going to the ghost train. Yeah, I got it. I'll look after Dandelion, okay? a plan of attack. Aha! I know what we'll do. Looks 
so friendly. Yeah, right. He was a fox in disguise. And when he saw that Dandelion was all alone, he ran off and captured him. And none of us noticed a thing. I saw his tail. But because of the carnival and all, I didn't make the connection. I didn't either. We promised we'd look after him. We said we'd never let him out of our sight. This is terrible. We have to warn him. We don't Daddy. have a second to lose. idea I had to leave radishes. If they don't fall for this trick, then my name isn't Roderick. <laughs> yeah, and my name isn't Roderick either. <laughs> Hurry up, you idiot. We've got to hide in the forest. There. One more. Go straight. The radishes lead into the forest. Better continue on foot. Okay, I'll follow it. But whatever we do, we have to be quiet. What are we going to do when we find the fox? We certainly can't overpower him. Why not? There are four of us and only one of him. First off, we have to find him. Then we'll decide what to do. Track. Yes, but look. This is strange. And there are two sets of prints. But that means that, that there are two of them. Yes, two foxes. But we'll beat them anyway. Ooh, we've got to leave. Got to get out of here. Oh, oh knock it off. We've almost rescued Dandelion. If we leave now, who knows where they'll hide him? must really think we're stupid. Hey, look! The clown's ears are sticking up. And there! They said quite a trap! Boy, oh boy! When I catch those two, they're gonna regret it! I think I have a plan. <laughs> Duh! Where have they gone?
Dandelions. Dandelion! Poppy! Oh, Dandelion, you're safe. Poppy, there's a fox in, in the forest. He wanted to catch me. Yippee! Yippee! We sure showed them. I swear, I saw a fox in front of me. A blue fox. Well, my little dears, I suggest that we go home now and try and forget those awful foxes. But maybe you want to stick around for the parade. After all, that's what you came for, isn't it? Come on, pick up the tools and let's go home. The carnival's over for me. I just want to sit down with a hot chocolate and a good book. All I can say is that responsibilities are too big for me to carry. Poor Dandelion. This was the first and the last time he'll want to go off alone with us. You followed them? And then they ran after you? And then you set a trap for them? And you... Yeah, but we also let them catch you. But you got them! And that means that you are all super strong. Will you teach me how to fight foxes? You know... It was Pirouette's idea to drive them crazy. We just followed her instructions. Oh, not at all. I thought you were all really courageous. When the blue fox started running after you, and you lost him, and you, Mistletoe... And remember when you jumped over the trunk? And when you used your suspenders? And that you, was when amazing. you... That fox didn't know what hit him. It's true. In the end, we handled ourselves pretty well. You're not too angry at us? No! Hey! That's the parade music! Oh, please, will you take me? Oh, but Dandelion, what if we lost you again? But you won't lose me! Please? Hey, I know what! <laughs> Five little bunnies. Anything can happen. 